have you come and buy the domain yeah, and do yeah, the yeah. hosting and we'll go from there. Okay, here you go, part two. So I was just basically showing, um, if you can have a seat real quick, just give me a few minutes to <coughs> have a seat here. But I was basically showing how going to Team Forest, I went to uh, right here at teamforest.net. Okay, have a seat. And I, did, I went to WordPress and did a search of different categories like blog style, corporate, uh, lawyers, entertainment, nonprofit, real estate. I did a search for real estate instead of sponsor based design. So, this is the website, it's ready made. See, it's ready made, you can click on it. Look how awesome it looks. See that? It's like a five grand website, right? It's all ready made. So, when you purchase this, you just have to download it, upload it, and upload the demo. Then you can go back and just basically, you know, change the images, change the content, and whatnot. Does that make sense? Okay, looks pretty nice, right? Now, the only thing with the premium theme is that, hey, Betty, how are you? The only thing is, good morning. So, when you purchase it, okay, and upload it to your WordPress, it will it will not look like that at all. It will be completely empty. And be like, what the heck, what did I buy? Did they screw me? No, they didn't screw you. What happens is that when you buy a premium theme, you have to make sure that they come with a demo content. So once you upload the demo content, then you will see all these fake information. Okay, and the cool thing about this theme, when I click different style, look at that. It tells you how it looks in iPad, nice. See, if I say how it looks on a mobile device, look at that, iPad this way, that's awesome. How it looks on the phone, oh, look at that. So it is responsive, comes ready. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that awesome, folks? No, we're like quiet, sleeping. All right. Now, here's the, here's the thing you want to write it down. Uh, if you eventually going to buy a premium theme, or for Kim, if you want to build a website for your local businesses, just go to Theme Forest and get this theme. There are a few things you have to consider, and I want you to write it down. The first thing is, you got to make sure that you should be able to contact the developer of the theme easily. So if you can reach that developer or that company and they respond to you within 24 hours, that's awesome. You need something like that. Okay, that's the first thing. The second thing is, you gotta make sure that, what is the rating? Is it five stars? Don't get anything below less than four. It has to be four or up in terms of rating because there are feedback. Okay, this is a brand new theme and there, there has been 31 sales so far. Okay, so look for comments as well. So you look for the the ease of access to the author or the developer of the website, look for the rating, look for how many comments, okay? Uh, make sure it comes with a higher resolution. This one for some reason has no higher resolution. That means the graphic might not look good, so make sure it's a high resolution. That's number four. And number five, make sure that it's compatible with the latest WordPress, which is 4.4.2. Uh, so make sure that this theme is compatible with the latest WordPress, okay? Number six, Make sure that it is compatible with all the popular browsers, like Explorer, Firefox, Chrome, and whatnot, okay? And this one says it's compatible with the latest one. Uh, number seven, make sure that it, it comes with well-documented. Well-documented, what happens is that it, they will show you step-by-step, step, like how to install this theme, how to change things, so you don't have to figure it out, because if you have to figure it out, it's gonna take you like weeks to figure it out. So make sure they come with what? Well documented, and most of the well documented material comes with the demo. Then, number eight, look at the site itself, kind of go through it, look at the specification, look at the features, what else comes with it. And number nine, test it by yourself. Like go there, navigate. Is it easy to use? Is, it, is, it, is this what my client need? Is this something that I need? Does that make sense? So you have to look at all these nine factors before you decide to buy this theme. And don't let the look of the theme be your main decision maker. Because a lot of time, and I've seen so many businesses, they buy this theme because they look good, but when they buy it, oh, there's one feature that doesn't work. Oh, it doesn't work this way. And so what happens, they buy another one, and another one, and another one, and they keep wasting money. Remember, in the beginning, we talked about what do you want, what do you want your customer to do, right? Focus on user experience. Don't just focus on the graphic and the design and the look because most customers are not graphic critics. All they want is a workable website, easy to navigate, easy to find what they're looking for. Okay? All right. Now, let's gonna show you 
how to get a domain name and how to get a web hosting and how to install it in the web hosting and go from there. All right, so we're gonna use SiteGround. I'm gonna use my affiliate link because I'm gonna make money off of you. I'm just being honest. Okay, so this is SiteGround. Oh, 30% off, okay. So what we're gonna do, he said you don't have a domain name? Okay, so let's just do this. Let's, first thing we need to do is, I'm gonna go to GoDaddy real quick. Because I wanna make sure the domain name that you're going to get exists, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. So here we go, go ahead and type the domain name that you want. Search yeah, search, yeah, search them. <clears throat> ah, it's taken. Somebody else got it. What is the difference between these? Uh, these are like, you know, the extension you have .us, .club, .co. Let's try something else. Can I put the .net SA? You can, what is this? Can you tell me what is it for? It's my last name. It's just like for me to build my own website so when I go for a job uh -huh. or something, I don't just, I just tell them just What is your first name? Eric, Eric Deluna. Maybe you can have Eric Full Deluna. name, yeah. No, but this is Deluna, so why? <laughs> I'm like, whoa. See, what's going to happen with this is a problem because if you're going to brand yourself as uh, Deluna, when people search for your name, this company will show up. Yeah. You see, you see what I'm saying? So let's try your full name. Try your full name. <clears throat> Which is also good because that's your brand, that's your personal name. Does that make sense? Like, yeah. oh, it's available. Yeah. Awesome, sweet. Okay. So let's do this. So we go to SiteGround. What we're gonna do, uh, let's see, WordPress service, WordPress services. First package. Wow, what happened? They went up. Why did they go up? Let's not go there. Let's go with web hosting. <coughs> One second. Yeah, I think that this should be like four, three dollars. They like they went up. Let's see. <coughs> okay, let's try and see how much, because it's supposed to be like $47 a year, but I don't know why the price went up. Do you want me to type in? Yeah, type in, let's just check it out, because this is like, wow, why this went up? Because if they went up, then you can go to GoDaddy, because GoDaddy has it for like $60 a year. Who? GoDaddy. They come with a $60 a year. Okay, it's not registered. Oh, sorry. Hostgator too. Hostgator is like ten dollars a month. Really? The last yeah. time that I saw it was like they had some like three dollars a month. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh no! Oh wow, they went up. Hmm. You want me to just do it, go uh, daddy? But they have a good service though, that's the thing. Let's try go to it and see. How about HostGator? Uh, HostGator is also, we see is four bucks a month. That's like almost 50, almost $60 a year. Uh, HostGator, let's see. If money is not an issue for you. Well, I mean, it's whatever you recommend me. Okay. Right here, five dollars, six dollars a month. Okay, you see, they all of them have a specific uh, hosting just for WordPress. <clears throat> Isn't that insane? It's that big. Okay, this one like three bucks. <clears throat> this one right here, single domain. Okay, okay, so we can go with this one. Just a new domain. Yeah, and check all these. They like you. Uh, why is hundred? What are they charging? Three years. Yeah, they're charging up to three years. Oh, if it's month to month, then it's gonna be. Oh, it's still not right. <coughs> <coughs> 
Yeah, you gotta, yeah, I gotta be careful with this stuff. Yeah, yeah. there you go. So you can pay ten dollars a month, month to month. It's more like this. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I know. You, you call I mean, but you could go. You know, I guess the guy it goes, it goes with like scale. You buy thirty six months, it comes out cheaper per. Yeah. Month. If you go like twelve months, <clears throat> like hundred bucks. So it's up to you. You want to do month to month? Yeah. Let's do month to month. Yeah. Month. All right, there you go. So go ahead, uh, go to HostGator, fill all this up, then I'll show you how to install the WordPress, okay? Because right. you have to put your, <coughs> you have to put your, when, when it comes to critical, let me know so I can unplug that. With this, uh, capital letters? Doesn't matter, in a domain, it doesn't matter, yeah. So right now what we're doing, we're getting a domain name, and we're also getting the hosting from one place. Username. That's for your to log into your uh, to log into your host gator. That's fine. Keep going down. Keep going. Keep going. What is this domain privacy? You don't need it right now. But okay. Good. Good question. Uncheck it. Domain privacy means when you don't put a domain privacy and somebody doing a who's lookup. Does anybody know what is a who's lookup? I can get your domain. Go to Who's Lookup, it will tell me your information, like your address, your phone number, your email address. So if you put privacy, that's gonna be blocked. That's only the problem. Okay. Yeah. So some people say, I tell them, look, what you need to do, go back in your hosting and change your address to a PO box. That's it. You know, nobody would know your physical address. So go ahead and put all your information. <clears throat> you wanna chair? I need your chair. No fun, no fun. Yes. What's the price? Yeah, you can also buy domain name from Google, but then you have to go to HostGator and do the hosting from HostGator. Because Google doesn't have web hosting service. They only have domain service. Yeah. Yeah. You can do that too, yeah. Show us your credit card, Eric, <laughs> so you can start buying stuff. <laughs> funny because even with HostGator, they add an extra feature called WordPress hosting and the price is a little bit higher. But it's the same, you know, I guess they want to specialize only in WordPress support. Okay, let's scroll down there before you do that. Let's scroll down. Let's see if there's anything else. Gmail. Why is Tony uh, domain registration. Isn't that supposed to be free? Uh... <coughs> it's domain plus the host. Oh, wow, it's not free for the year? Okay. All right. Makes sense. They've changed since last time. They run it or? Here's a new trick, it's called Host Gator Coupon Code. Yeah. That's what we do, man. 2016. I think Let's see if they have it. To get a coupon if we can find, but. So you can put your <coughs> there we go. Go ahead and put your automation. Anybody else buying? They all get? I'm gonna buy, but I don't know. I don't know yet which one I'll buy. I know oh, you going with GoDaddy? Okay, you have well, to verify. I got I got some names with GoDaddy. Okay, good. I just trying to 
but they're all under the renew one of them. <laughs> I renew it. Trying to find out my password. Because we're going to do some hands on, so we're going to follow through. You can follow through. I don't know what happened, but my Wi Fi the Wi-Fi got disconnected. Yeah? Yeah, the one that you couldn't sign. Uh -huh. And I was, it's disconnected now. I don't know if it's another one, another password. Do you want to send her in jail? Or? The student Wi Fi disconnected? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, so go ahead and all the way down. Where you want to do this? Uh, you have your email address too, right? Yeah. Okay, so you have to log into your email too, which is a Gmail account? Yeah, it's a Gmail account. Okay. okay. That's uh, sweet. That looks good. So, so right now, I just $24. Okay, yeah, just for now. Which and this is getting me both hosting and, and the domain. Okay. Yeah. Okay, there's anything missing because it's not letting me proceed. Let's see. What else is missing? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Now you check out. Right. Okay. So HostGator will, will, I guess, will bill me my monthly. Uh, monthly, yeah. Only uh, ten dollars. That's it. A month. Then, but uh, if I want to switch it to just pay that's a what whole you year up you can, I can do it. You can go and okay. upgrade. Thank you. Okay. So there you go. Get ready. We're setting up your account. You are building your HostGator account. There you go. So you logged in already here. Okay, explore hosting products. So now you logged into your uh, billing section mm -hmm. of uh, what do you call it of your uh, account. Mm -hmm. So now you have to log into your email because they will give you access to a your uh, hosting. So I can open. The